Welcome everyone to another episode of Around the Block Talk. Today we have with us uh, Sonny Mohanty. She is the Chief Growth Officer at Yona Chain and uh, has spent a, a few years in the blockchain and web industry. And uh, uh, with that, uh, thank you very much, Sonny, for uh, uh, coming to our show today. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you, Pratik. Thank you. Uh, hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. And uh... I'm very excited and glad to be back on shows like, you know, just these kind of talk shows, uh, AMS sessions. Uh, I've been missing it very much after I started like, you know, traveling, uh, traveling. I haven't gotten a chance to actually come on these kind of live shows anymore. But yeah, thank you, Pratik, for inviting me uh, uh, on this show. I'm really excited. And yes, uh, so basically I wear multiple hats, but rightly, Pratik, you introduced me very correctly for the show today because I'm going to be talking about a new chain that's going to be introduced in the market. It's called Yona Chain. So currently I hold the post of the Chief Growth Officer uh, of Yona Chain and Yona Chain Foundation which, uh, is, is incorporated out of Singapore. So yes, uh, rightly said so. Thank you so much, all of you. All right, that's uh, great to know, Sunny. So now moving ahead to our topic of discussion, as you mentioned, Yona Chain. So mm. we are keen to know what Yona Chain is and what kind of initiative are you working on? Yeah, that's 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 basically uh, the whole uh, purpose of this uh, aim today, Pratik. So why you? First of all, I like to introduce what is Yona Chain. So it's not something totally different. Uh, it's Yona Chain is a cryptocurrency. And it combines that combines Ethereum smart contract functionality with the security of Bitcoin's unspent transaction output model, which is the UTXO, to create a platform that is suitable for adoption by large organizations. What does that mean? So it uses a proof of stake consensus model for creating new blocks, which is far easier and less energy intensive than Bitcoin's proof of work model, right? <clears throat> so one of the core element of Yona chain borrowed from Bitcoin is the UTXO model, um, a sort of accounting system used by Bitcoin that provides a high level of transactional security. The UXTO system provides a type of receipt for unspent coins after a transaction. So, so Yona chain basically copied and reworked on Bitcoin's UTXO code for its own platform. So Yona Chain borrowed smart contracts from Ethereum. Smart contracts are blocks of self-executing code that once verified on the blockchain, carry out terms of the deal, making the contract irrevocable. I just, I just have to say one thing, this particular session is a little technical, but I, I, I totally understand the people who have who are the developers and the coders, they would totally appreciate that what Yona Chain is trying to build. Yeah, indeed, uh, indeed, Sonny. Sure. So we have uh, developers and also business professionals who understand blockchain and Web3 in our audience. So it wouldn't matter. It, it would be all right if, uh, if the talk is in key. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So yeah, so that's introduction about Yona Chain, uh, Pratik. Sure, sure, Tan. So also, uh, uh, you mentioned that it's a layer zero solution. So we would like to understand from you what are layer zero solutions and uh, where does Yona Chain fit, fit into that? So I like to talk about the competitive uh, strategy. Uh, so basically, you know, there are so many protocols these days because I travel to so much conferences. And the main part I've seen that besides the NFT and the metaverse, metaverse, I see many projects have come up with their own own sort of chain, right? Layer zero, layer one, layer two, so on and so forth. So I would like to uh, take a step back and try and explain how Yona chain is uh, sort of, you know, unique in a sense and different from the competitors, right? <clears throat> so while Yona chain borrowed uh, both from, uh, so basically one second, so while Yona Chain borrowed from both uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, it differs from both of its much 
bigger competitors in QA. So uh, we would consider Bitcoin, we are saying Bitcoin and Ethereum are the bigger competitors. So, so to begin with, Yona Chain deployed what it calls the account abstraction layer, AAL. I think the developers for sure are going to understand this. So the Yona Chain deployed what is called the account abstraction layer, AAL, the technology that enables the use of smart contracts in conjunction with the UTXO model of the Bitcoin. AAL enables the UTXO on the smart contract models to interact. And Yona Chain also uses the proof of stake consensus model rather than proof of work model used by Bitcoin. This makes it easier to mine new coins, right? Bitcoin's POW approach is resource intensive causing the computer networks mining its coins to consume more electricity annually than many entire countries. So a POS approach simplifies the process and results in much less power consumption. Uh, with a POS system, miners are chosen to verify the blocks based on their own stakes in the system rather than who can solve a complex math problem the fastest, you know? The bigger the stake, the greater the user's chance of being selected to verify the transactions. That's because um, despite some general similarities, Bitcoin and Ethereum diverge in the specifics of how their blockchains operate uh, and how they record and update balances held by the users. So by attempting to design the blends, unique aspects of the two networks, basically Bitcoin and Ethereum, Yona Chain aims to offer an alternative to Ethereum that can compete on programming while maintaining compatibility with Bitcoin, offering something like the best of the both worlds blockchain solutions. So that's, so that's I would like to add, you know, how does Yona Chain combining the best of both worlds still has, uh, has a unique uh, value proposition over there? Uh, indeed, Sonny. So, Yona Chain uh, is providing to optimize uh, the the blockchain and uh, make it more make it more uh, friendly in terms of its energy consumption and in, in terms of how it works. So, uh, why do you think is there's a need for such solutions today, and yeah. what kind of problems is it solving? Sure. So, the Yona. Uh... I would say the Yona Chain team, team believes this design will um, entice users seeking to build an application running on a blockchain, the main value proposition of Ethereum, with allowing their creations to transact in a similar way how Bitcoin, Bitcoin do does. To achieve its ambitious vision, the Yona Chain team modified Bitcoin's code to allow its software users to write Ethereum-like smart contracts applications on top of it. So put simply, so to put it simply, is the base layer copies Bitcoin transaction model, which is the UTXO, while an additional layer on top operates in a way like akin to Ethereum's virtual machine, the EVM, the element that executes its smart contracts and decentralized program. So like Ethereum, Yona Chain has built its own virtual machine. Okay, that allows developers to write and execute programs across across as distributed networks of computers. Yeah. Right. Indeed. So, uh, so now in terms of its architecture uh, that you mentioned, it is based on the Bitcoin architecture and on top of that, and smart contracts. So, uh, can you throw some light on on choice of this architecture and why? Uh, why such thing would be adopted? Yeah, so basically, um, so basically, uh, Pratik, I joined the Yona team at a very early stage in the sense as a chief growth officer, even though I'm the growth officer, my job is to uh, <clears throat> uh, so, uh, sort of scale it out, but uh, they are um, you know, obviously uh, still early stage of inception. Uh, the Yona chain goes live uh, uh, somewhere in August, mid of August, right? So there has been a lot of uh, discussions back and forth, brainstorming session with the team members as to why we're going to, uh, you know, have these uh, um, sort of uh, best of both world architecture combining Bitcoin and Ethereum. So we realized that this is what the market needs because that was a survey done. And this is what the market market needs because we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, we have 
we have uh, Solana, Polygons, and so many other protocols coming up, but not necessarily everything is solving the problem of the end users and the use cases on top of it. Obviously, you can build a lot of dApps on, on any protocol, near protocol and stuff like that, but you know, it has to have a, a use case, a practical use case to scale up eventually in the future, right? Just having a blockchain doesn't make sense. So that's why we decided to have this uh, sort of hybrid uh, sort of uh, architecture for Yona chain while we're still um, discussing, brainstorming about uh, the different, uh, um, you know, uh, ways to uh, launch it uh, before we go live. So, uh, so there are two things I wanted to mention over here. The account abstraction layer, which is the uh, um, AA, AAL and the mutual proof, the mutualized proof of stake. So the AAL is the Yona chain signature technology. So this is our signature technology. Um, so what does it do? It's the element that allows the Yona chain's blockchain to communicate between these two layers. So by modifying Bitcoin's core code with a set of new commands, the AAL, the account abstraction layer, makes the creation, execution, and handling of smart contracts that operate more likely, more like they do on the Ethereum, right? So lastly, I would say that AAL updates the blockchain ledger after it processes smart contract transactions and adds each transactions to new blocks. So that's about AAL, which is very signature technology from Yona chain. And another one is the mutualized proof of stake. So to keep its network in sync, Yona chain uses a variation of proof of stake consensus called mutualized proof of stake, MPOS. So in order for the nodes to validate the, and process the transactions, they must, they must stake on Yona chain in a wallet. In return for validating, processing and recording transactions, these nodes receive a reward in the form of newly minted Yona chain, along with transaction fees, which are going to be paid in Yona chain included in the block. So that's again another differentiator from Yona chain. So each new block reward is divided equally between the block producing nodes and nine previous ones. This reduces the probability of an attack by masking the immediate block reward amount from potential, from potential attackers that the project claims. So, so these are the two differentiating factors from Yona chain team with very signature technology. AAL, the account abstraction layer, and the mutualized proof of stake. So yeah, I am I am looking forward uh, to. So basically, this was like a pre-promotion of Yona Chain. Uh, the team is very excited um, because it's going to go live in August, um, mid of August, and we have a lot of beautiful projects lined up uh, uh, to launch on the protocol. And uh, yes, and we can again, Pratik, talk more about it once the protocol goes live and all the use cases comes uh, live as well. And yeah, that's all about Yona Chain. I wanted to share with uh, you and rest of the audience. And uh, if anybody has any questions about Yona Chain, because it was a very technical dis uh, sort of discussion today, please feel to reach out to me, um, sunny at bitkin.io, S O N N Y at bitqin.io or sony.mohanti at gmail.com. So I'll be able to respond back uh, on both these emails. Any investors uh, who are interested to explore Yona Chain, please feel free to reach out to me um, directly on LinkedIn or via Pratik. And I'll be happy to uh, take you through this uh, uh, white paper of Yona Chain because it's a very technical one. So if you want to... Uh, really understand, then we can go over a pitch deck as well, a simplified light paper as well. And yes, and I look forward to come back on this show. It was a little uh, sort of un unplanned, but yeah, but it's, thank you, Pratik, for, uh, <laughs> you know, sort of taking time out for me for this session and Yona Chain. And I love to continue the sessions talking about uh, Yona Chain on other sessions. And also, I would like to talk about... Uh, uh, what's happening with the regulatory regime in India regarding to the crypto exchanges and what's happening in uh, the India scene all over because I've got exchange out of India as well. So we'd love to talk, chat about that as well in the coming sessions. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, all of you, Pratik, thank you for hosting me again. And uh, I'd love to come back again.
Sure. Uh, with that, uh, thank you very much, Sunny. It was an interesting talk, and it was great to know about Vinacha. Thank you, Prateek. Thank you, guys. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye bye.